Okay, here we go. This is Garrett, Tears to Joy Ministries.org. This is a Christian movie review on the documentary called Sing Over Me. That's the name of the documentary. This is a documentary about the life of Dennis Jernigan. Dennis is one of the most famous Christian artists in the history of the United States. He has been writing and recording songs, I don't know, for like 30 years now. I want you to know, some of Dennis's songs are so famous. Not only are they on every single Christian radio station in the world, possibly every day, I'm talking worldwide, Mexico, Russia, the Ukraine, but some of his songs are so incredible that they are actually have been put into hymn books that are put into churches all over the world. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? You write a song, you record a song, and not only is it on the radio every day worldwide, but it actually made its way into hymn books. Children of God are singing his hymns in churches all over the world. Okay, all right, you can tell I'm a musician. I'm a musician also. This is a 90-minute documentary about Dennis Jernigan. If you don't know who he is and if you love God, you want to find out who he is and listen to his music. The documentary made about $50,000, $60,000, something like that. It was made in 2014 and it was filmed around Oklahoma. Okay, let's talk about the good parts first. We're going to talk about the good. This is the documentary, Sing Over Me. You can catch this on Amazon. You can buy it or you can rent it. Here's the good. You're going to learn in the documentary that Dennis Jernigan battled against homosexuality from about the age of five for most of his life. Yes, while he was a famous recording artist, while he was touring worldwide, he was battling against homosexuality. Now let's start with the good. This documentary does not pull any punches. It tells the hard core truth of how life is when you're battling that sexual giant we call homosexuality. This documentary, it doesn't pull any punches. It is honest. This is an honest documentary. Dennis himself is the main star, and he's telling the truth of his whole life. And when you hear the truth coming out of his mouth, and you hear the pain, and you hear the emotion, and sometimes he has to cry a little bit, and he's not pulling any punches, this is really good. The church needs to talk this way. It's really good. The sincerity of the documentary, it's just beautiful. It's beautiful to see another Christian be so sincere with the troubles and the anguish and the pain and the battles and the failures and, and on and on. And the sincerity is just wonderful to see. It's really beautiful. Now let's talk about the music. Now this is a documentary. It's not a movie. But there is music in it because Dennis is a musician, obviously. The music, they did a good job. I'm not going to say it was incredible, no. But the music is good. It's in the good section of my review. They did a good job. One more thing. The true stories that Dennis tells... They're so refreshing to hear the truth. 
It's enlightening to hear a Christian open up about these struggles and battles. Now, children of God, you might be thinking, well, Garrett, I don't battle against homosexuality. I don't need to watch this. No, no, you don't get it. This documentary is about if you're battling cigarettes, if you're battling cancer, (laughs) if you're battling pornography, if you're battling alcohol. It's about all battles. It's about everything using the topic of homosexuality. It's really beautiful. I want to say that at certain times watching this movie, um, I had tears in my eyes. It's real beautiful. I'm sorry, it's not a movie, the documentary. I'm sorry, I misspoke. I, I had tears in my eyes a couple times. They did a good job. Real good job here. Now, let's talk about the bad. I have only one thing written down that's bad about the 90-minute documentary, and I'm usually very picky, but I've been seeing some good movies and good videos lately, and I've had nothing to complain about. So the only thing I'm going to point out is, in the 90-minute documentary, they never really found a way to showcase three or four of his super famous songs. It's like they couldn't fit it in anywhere. I mean, not even... They have one famous song in the background a little bit, and sometimes he's playing the piano, and he's playing one of the famous songs, but they didn't really showcase even one of his really famous songs. And, you know, being a musician myself, I I thought maybe that they could have worked. um, I would have worked in two or three of his famous songs. I don't know how, but I would have worked them into the documentary. And that's the only complaint I have. This documentary is a thing of beauty. The truth, the anguish, the pain, the tears, the honesty, the sincerity. If you're battling against addictions throughout your life, if you're battling against sinning, if you're hurting, if you're in pain, if you're facing giants, this documentary is an absolute must. It's a must to watch. All right, let's give it a rating, 1 to 10. 10 being best. There is no perfect movie, and there never will be. Although, Enter the Dragon with Bruce Lee. Oh, man, that was pretty good. Okay, anyway, uh, okay, let's give it a rating. I'm going to give this a solid eight. It's real good. I don't know how much it costs on Amazon. Um, I rented it. Um, I don't know. I think I rented it for $5. I don't know what I did. It's worth it. It is worth $5. Um, If they're selling this for $10, and I'm sorry I didn't check ahead of time, but if they're selling it on DVD or Blu-ray for $10, it's worth it. You're going to want to watch this a couple times a year when you're really struggling. It's worth it. I give this a solid eight. Praise God for Dennis Jernigan.